Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's go ahead and get some business right out of the way. If my content ever has brought you any kind of value, please make sure you smash that thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe. That way I know that my content is bringing value to you and it shows in the YouTube algorithm. All right, now that the business is out of the way, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for my Patreons. Now, let's jump right into this. Now, this video has been asked, let me go over here. This video has been asked to me several times, like over the years, probably more than 20. I've had the same incident happen to me and today I'm going to recreate it right here. Now, what I have here is a GFI, basically what we have is a switch GFI and we're gonna make sure that the light is also protected. Now, this is a typical scenario I've seen a lot in a bathroom. There's gonna be a little story time right at the beginning. If you wanna jump down to the description, I have a time stamp down there. You guys can feel free just to skip this story. You might wanna hear it, this might ring a bell to you and be like, oh yeah, that's what happened. All right, what I did, the same thing right here. When I first wired my house back in, I think it was 98, 99, not the one I'm in now, but another one I had. I did the same exact setup, except I had a four gang switch. Could not figure out to save my freaking life what I did, and it baffled me forever. Every time I would basically go to switch the light on, boom, the GFI would trip every time. Light would never come on, and it just, it was terrible. I hated it, and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what the problem was. Obviously, now that I'm more seasoned, I know what the problem is. Now what I'm gonna do to recreate this, cause I don't know if you'll be able to catch the light cause the lights are pretty bright in here. I'm gonna turn my uh, lights off on the side so you guys can see what I'm talking about and how the GFI trips immediately. That's exactly what happens. As Soon as you flip the switch, bam, it automatically trips. And then you're like, what? You think that you did what you should have, but did you? So let's drive right on in here. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, how to fix it, and then we'll talk about why. Okay, so with the lights dim a little bit, you'll see what happens. Now see, my GFI is not on, neither is my switch. So when I turn my switch on, watch the light now. It automatically trips out. So we know that there's a problem, obviously. And you can't, I mean, every time you, you go to flip your GFI, this is what happens. So what is the problem? Well, obviously there is a problem. Let's go ahead and see, take the switch out. I'll show you guys, it's super easy. It's just a miswiring and I've seen electricians, believe it or not, very skilled, very good electricians. This baffles them and I don't know why, if they just stop and think about it, it's super easy. Now, let me turn my lights back on. I'm gonna tell you why I'm turning the lights back on. Uh, what you're gonna see in my box, I'm gonna bring you guys real close. You're gonna see in my box that I'm using Wago lever nuts. Now, I am not a believer in the Wago lever nuts. However, I bought some to do a video on because you need to, like I said, make sure that you hit that thumbs up also so you guys will know when this video pops up. I'm gonna do a video on Wago lever nuts and I'm gonna show you why I do not recommend them. Now, why am I using them in this box? As soon as I pull this out, you're gonna see the Wago lever nuts. The only reason I'm using them, obviously I bought them for the video purposes, but I use them because these wires and this box are so used that every time that I strip and I twist, eventually they screw up. Now, I would personally never use Wago lever nuts. That's just me. I did this video, just do as I say, not as I do, because this is just for demonstration purposes only. There's no other reason I would ever use these. So, but I will show you why I personally would never use them in another video, not today. I'm not even gonna tell you any more about it today, so you definitely have to like and subscribe and hit that thumbs up so you know. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power off. It goes without saying, please turn your power off before you tackle any electrical job because you don't wanna get shocked because it sucks, believe me. So let me turn the power off. We'll bring the camera in a little closer and I'll show you what the problem is. All right, I'm also gonna say this, do what you want because you're gonna do it anyway, but definitely make sure that you check for power. Make sure it's off, use a tick tracer. Just like this right here. Make sure we're dead, and we are. There's no power anywhere. So these are very handy. I'll leave a link down below to my Amazon store where you can pick one up if you so choose to. If you buy from my link, it will only help my channel. We know there's no power, plus it's off, I know for a fact. Now, what I was gonna say is, I don't use drills often to put receptacles in, 
but for the sake of the video, I'm using them because it's so much quicker. So, so screw that one. Now, if you're interested about these little heart drills, I did a review on them. Not getting paid for that, obviously, but it doesn't really matter. They are very handy for homeowners. Now, let's see what the problem is here. Hopefully, I can show you real easy here. So, let's go ahead and pull everything and get it loose so you guys can see exactly what I'm working with here. Use these Wagle lever nuts. Like I said, it's just for video purposes only. All right, so let's talk about what's going on here. First and foremost, this is your main power coming in. So wraps around here, comes in the back, power's on the bottom. All right, these two right here, this is your hot coming in. This is your neutral coming in. So what I did is I came here and I put a Wago lever nut. I came off to my switch right here. So the hot came straight off here and went right into here. Obviously, the switch part, when you turn the switch on, so basically the switch is off, there's no power going through here. As soon as you turn the switch on, the power comes through, travels down this wire, straight into the line side of your GFI. Now, if you don't know anything about how to wire GFI, you'll see a pop-up coming up very shortly, up in the corner there. Uh, check it out. It tells you exactly how to properly wire GFI. So, turn the switch on, it comes through the line side. All right, the neutral here, Here's the neutral that comes from the main power. It comes right through here and also goes on the line side. All right, now, what happens is when you turn the power on, the GFI sends power on the bottom side or the load side of the GFI. So when you turn the switch on, the, the power goes right through here to the line side, and then it goes through the GFI. The power goes back out the load right on this wire, which is this wire right here, which is going straight up to your light up here. All right, pretty cut and dry, right? Now, the neutral for this light is also under this wire nut or Wago lever nut, as you see. So I got three right here. So what, what's the problem? So the problem is this. When you turn the switch on, it's seeing what it needs to see and it has the power there. But it doesn't see the other side of this neutral going up here. So there's a, like an imbalance per se. And it doesn't know what's going on, so it just shorts itself out because it just, it just can't work like that. You have to have a hot and a neutral on the load side, plain and simple. So what we have to do is we have to find the load wire that goes up to this light right here. See, so it is right here. We'll take this Wago lever nut loose and we'll take it out. Close it up. Now this is the load for your light up here. All right, we gotta put it back here on the neutral side of the GFI. Now, I don't recommend using a drill, but you're gonna do what you want to anyway. And for this purpose, I'm using a drill. All right, and we're gonna put, make sure everything's good and tight, and it is. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave this out so I can show you guys. I'm gonna turn the power back on. Don't do this because I'm gonna to prove to you that it'll work so you don't have to do this, but it will work. All right, so what we have now is we, you turn your switch on, bloop, the power comes through here, it goes through your GFI, comes back to your load, because it comes in on the line, goes out the load, and goes to your light. The neutral does the same thing. It's, it's wire nutted or wagoed together right here. It comes out here, it goes to your line side, and then back through your GFI, up to your light. Load is your light. All right, now let's see if that works. Let's make sure everything is good and safe here. Like I said, don't do what I'm doing. Just make sure that everything is safe. Now, let me turn the power back on and we'll see what happens. All right, with everything good and safe, let's see what happens. So, ba! All right, let's see what happens. There we go. Now we're working. Now we'll go one step further with this and we'll make sure for video purposes that this is wired correctly and that it does work if you need it to work. Now, I just bought this. This is a very handy dandy tester. Now, I will leave a link for this down below. I used to have an older one that I had pretty much since I started, and it was great, but everybody's going to these newfangled ones, so I thought, you know what? I might as well try it too. And I am really liking this one a lot. So basically, you just turn it on. All right. We'll put it in here. Don't get shocked, Mike. All right. 
Now, I don't know if you can see or not. Let me see if I can bring you down a little bit. It's 122 volts. Everything is correct. Green light's on, it says correct there. Now let's test this GFI and we'll see if the light goes out. All right, I think we can see that the light is on. I'm not gonna turn my lights back off. So let's go ahead and hit this test button on here and we'll see what happens. Boom. All right guys, there you have it. Pretty cut and dry, right? All you gotta do is make sure that you follow the diagram. Make sure that you just take your time. It's not a race. Don't use Wego lever nuts. Like I said, the only reason I did is just because I'm always in these boxes and it's just, it's just so much easier for me just to put them in. Make sure that you watch for that video because I will be doing that soon. I'm not a big fan of Wego lever nuts at all, but you know, this is not gonna be permanent, obviously. It's just, I'm just gonna keep, you know, making these videos and I need to make as little splices as possible because you know I'm kind of running out of wire here. I mean I've done a lot of videos with these with this setup right here and anyway you guys I think you guys understand. Do as I say not as I do. Okay. Use wire nuts and I will definitely within the next I don't, I'm not even gonna say when but I will be making a video very shortly on why I prefer or don't prefer Wiggle lever nuts. All right listen guys if there's anything you guys want to see definitely make sure that you drop me a comment down below. Uh, I try to write down anything that I see that you guys want to see. To me, this is, this is an everyday issue. Like I said, I've seen electricians, very seasoned electricians, just get so overwhelmed by what wire goes where and how all that works. And they're like, I just, I just can't understand. And not that I'm, you know, Mr. Electrician, but I mean, it's baffled me before. So like I said, it's super easy. Take your time. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, but make sure that you like and subscribe. Also make sure that you hit the notification bell to all so you get every single one of my videos. Leave me a comment down below, email me, ask me questions. Uh, if you want to join my Patreon, it's down there also. God bless guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.